Hey guys, Video James, and we're back with Dragon's Rise of Berg. They updated the game again for Easter. Well, I guess technically April, but I usually just call them by the holiday or season update they did. So they updated it for April, and not all the features are included yet. Some of them they're waiting to pull out until April 1st. So I'm not going to be able to show them off in this video, but they did do a lot of new stuff, which is actually kind of cool. So first thing they did is they kind of changed the button system a little bit, so now... You just have one central bar down here for most of the buttons. And then at the side you have resource sales and the defend button and the pack button. And it is actually kind of useful that they did that now because instead of having it like there were buttons up in the top corner, buttons up in the bottom corner, buttons in the bottom right corner, everywhere. Just almost everywhere you look there were buttons. Now there's actually a bit more order to it and they're a little bit out of the way because when you move the screen, watch this, this is actually really nice. When you move the screen, the buttons kind of go intangible or see-through so that you don't see them while you're moving the screen around and it makes it kind of easier to navigate. I, mean, I do wish that they had put like, um, oh, voice crack, calm down. I do wish they'd put like little, I don't know what to say, like little I guess buttons would be the right word. Little buttons to kind of make these tabs go down or up. So that if you didn't want to see them on the screen, they wouldn't be there. But it is actually kind of cool that they did this. And I think they have a new... Yeah, they do. They've got a new leaderboard thing now where you can actually click on it. Or that's the achievements. But you can click on this now and you can actually see all your achievements instead of having to go into the help section to look for the achievements. And that's actually kind of useful too. And then I do wish that they kind of left the fish and wood things kind of up at the top where they still are because putting them over there just seems kind of pointless that they could have just put little exclamation points on the tops like they always do but now they put them over there so that they're just a little bit more in the way and I kind of don't like that I don't really enjoy it I wish they kind of just left them where they were but now also we've got the defend and the card packs on the right side so that's kind of helpful and you see we have these little buttons down here for riders and legendary dragons. So if I tap on one of these, so I'm going to tap on legendary, and I go to, say, the Bewilder Beast, it takes me instantly there. So now we have selections for all of our dragons, be they legendary or riders, and we can just instantly go to them from one button. So that's kind of useful. I mean, it does save you kind of the trouble of having to swipe towards the dragons, and... That's actually really nice because, you know, a lot of people, they don't like having to constantly swipe to move something. They just like one quick button press and you're over there, which admittedly is kind of lazy on the part of the gamer. But at the same time, it's kind of understandable because multiple swipes sometimes doesn't really do anything in a game. And it sometimes just does what you don't want it to. But anyway, if we tap on one of the writers, so I'm going to choose, I don't know, Astrid. Then we go straight over to Stormfly. So, that's actually kind of useful, and it saves you some time of actually trying to swipe over to them, like I said, and trying to find them and all that. And we do also, the yeah, also, we do also have a new thing coming in April, where it's like, I think there's egg hunts every day, like there's a new dragon to search for every day. But, there's also a new thing coming in April called the monthly calendar, where every day, you get a different reward based on what day it is. So, it's like, you go out on... Or you go into the game on a Monday, you'll get a reward for Monday or Tuesday or something like that. So kind of like what they do in... I think they do it in Dragon City. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played that game. But anyway, they did update a lot of stuff in the other functions as well. Like a whole bunch of bug fixes that they actually got fixed. Which, to be honest, I didn't even know existed. I thought it might have just been from the desktop or something, but... They did make a few new dragons, so if I go into the dragon book, come on, there we go, and I click not owned, because I don't own pretty much every single thing in this game, you'll see we got a new premium dragon called the Royal Fireworm, and instead of being a normal yellow, it's actually green, which is kind of cool. I think there's also a few new searchable dragons, there's at least one, I think, I'm not sure, but... Another thing is, usually around this time, Basket Case usually comes back. I think I have him in my hangar, actually, somewhere. 
But usually around this time, there's a dragon that comes back called Basket Case, and he's basically a hot purple with the Easter coloring. So, this one. He's this guy. So, he might be coming back soon. I don't know. He might, like I said, roll a die. And that monthly calendar thing did also make it easier to get runes now. I don't know the specific amount. I don't know if it's like a set amount that you'll always get. But the monthly calendar does always have different rewards every single day. So, who knows what we'll get. And they did fix a problem with the coin system, which I actually did notice. Because this ended up charging people double the coins for what it was trying to get. So, like, if I wanted to get, for instance, Gothi's pet right here. Instead of 490, it would charge me 980. Yeah, I'm not doing that. And, by the way, that's in the game currency, not the money. I know that I probably just confused some people. And they did also do an update with the resources. So, let me find someone to click on. I'll click on the death song. That now when you collect resources, it has little animations of all the fish going up there. Or all the wood going up there. So, I'll click on Cloud Jumper 2. And the effects are still there, and they also changed this from the last event, or last update, I don't know why I'm saying event. They changed this from the last update, where if you have a dragon that has an amount of fish that would make your reserves go to full, it would end up saying, do you want to collect, instead of just giving you the automatic collection. So what they did, actually, is instead of giving you the option to always collect, now, they said that if you are out of fish to the point where it knows you won't be able to get max with what your dragon has, you can now just click on a dragon and it'll fill it up as much as it can, and then you can click on other dragons and try to fill it up. So it actually is really useful. They did put a lot of work into the game, and I am actually impressed, because a lot of the stuff they fixed was stuff that I'd seen on their community, that the stuff on their Facebook page and the stuff on their actual community that they have is actually a lot of stuff that's been incorporated in updates and that's kind of that makes me kind of glad because it shows that the company is actually listening to its players and it's actually doing what the audience wants which is not really the company's responsibility as much as it is kind of the way for them to actually keep their players so it is actually really nice uh, can i think straight today I'm sorry, I had an ACT test earlier. I am freaking brain fried. But it is nice of them to kind of do that because they're actually taking what their players want and they're actually incorporating it into updates at some certain interval. Every time I talk, that cup over there that I have is just making noise. This, this big glass thing. Every time I talk, it's making noise. It's weird, it's like an echo. But anyway, that's basically it for the update. There isn't really a whole lot else that got fixed. I don't really know if there's anything else new coming out because when the update came out, the only really things that it said were the monthly thing and the new... Crap, what was it? The monthly thing and the new button layout. But anyway, I'm leaving this video here. Again, if you guys want to get this game, I left links in the description to my first video of this which I probably should make a playlist for. I do have to go back and fix all my playlists and make sure everything's in a playlist. But anyway, I'm leaving this video here. If you guys liked it, you can slap the like button, and I will see you guys later.